Hello beautiful people on the internet. This is Frozy and today I will be showing you how you can install or copy any game from any ritually anywhere into your Epic Games Launcher. Now by that I mean if you have got those free games. Yes, free games. Now these games all went free one by one in Epic Games and uh, in case you are probably here for GTA 5, I know that's 89 GB. Today I will be showing you how you can install or I mean you can get those files if you have uh, one from your friend, if you have from Steam and also I'm going to be showing you how you can get the cracked ones to work. Now before I confuse you by anything else, let me tell you one thing first of all. The method I'm going to be showing you is going to be with this is this game called the Stanley Parable that I don't know why or what it what even happens in it but it will work in anything you can use this same method for fortnite for watchdogs for observer for alan wake for gta 5 even for just cause 4 or for world war z doesn't matter so let's get going and also i'm going to be showing you a bit of things if you're trying to install gta 5 what else that you want to do before you get into any trouble however you can always ask me in the comment section if you have any problem so let's get going uh, first of all let me show you that i literally uh, have this copied from somewhere it's called the stanley's parable now one thing that i want to do is to delete this .eg store i am doing this in mine do not do this in yours because if you have it from your friends if you have it from your friends then there's a question you can delete this file of course if you don't you might have something like this you might not have that .eg store just delete it doesn't really matter okay so coming back here this is where i'm going to be installing it let's go to epic games launcher you gotta simply click on install now it's going to ask you for the location or from wherever it's going to do that uh, just select wherever you want. I select a G because that's where I want to install it. Click on install. Now wait. Hold on to your download and it's gonna say please wait. Resuming or installing. Just wait for it. Now let it download at least 2 to 5 MBs and make sure that you get something on right because you want something to be written on our disk. Now you can already see I have got something there. So I'm gonna pause it. Let's go back and see what we have. So you see it made a, uh, it made a folder, right? Now we have something in the EG store and it says pending in BPS. No problem at all. Let's go back and I'm going to be resuming it. I want at least 5 MBs to be downloaded. Now it downloaded some. It's writing. Wait for it. Pause it. There we go. Now, once you've done that, we got to kick the Epic Games Launcher's ass. How we can do that? Just simply right click and open Task Manager. Here you got to close the Epic Games Launcher. Right click and Task. Bye bye Epic Games. Okay, you might be pretty worried by now, but don't worry. Let's go to wherever our folder was. Now, do not copy this. Get inside, copy this entire thing, come back. You can also copy that, doesn't really matter. It's gonna replace it either way. And paste it in here. But why don't we wanna do that? Because we want this folder right here. Let's wait for it for a while. So once you have done that, try me out. Let's get going. So there's one thing that I still want to tell you before you start breaking hell loose in uh, the comment section. Make sure that you have done what I did. I actually copied it, didn't cut it actually the reason being because if something messes up the entire thing is gonna go off and could happen like you might lose something so don't call me later okay so yeah times to time to start up that epic games launcher again now go up in and start epic games launcher make sure that starting up as an administrator i always tell you to do that okay so once inside our very dear epic games launcher you're gonna be facing up with two situations the first situation might be, you might say, it might say something like resume here. Now, there are two things that could happen for any game out there. The thing being that it could say, uh, just continue to install, something like this. It could say resume, but do not panic. We don't need to worry about it. Simply click on resume, go to downloads, and it's going to say verifying. If it doesn't say it's verifying, it starts installing again. Click on cancel, just like that. Go back and go back again to see if the files are still stable or not. Well, they are. Let's click on resume. Or even if it says install, just click on that. It's going to be actually be verifying your installation, be it GTA 5, Watch Dogs or anything. Now, as you can see, it actually verified everything and it's now installing just 5 MBs. You are done. So now it says launch. OK, that means our setup worked up. But Coming to GTA 5, there are a few things that you actually need to remember and uh, I'm going to be showing you them one by one. If you are one of them, those GTA 5 guys, well, here are some tips for you. First thing, that if you are on the original version, like you have got it from your friend or even if you have got it from Steam, then this might work pretty well for you. 
this won't cause any further problem. The only thing that you actually need to do is to replace this installs by renaming it to redistributables. Just like that. The spelling, in case you're mistaken, is given down below in the description. I should not do that. Okay, now coming to the best part. If you are a cracked user, my cracked boys always are there to help me. Okay, so if you are, an, are a cracked user, then there are a few things that you literally need to do so that you can avoid any ban inside the game. The first thing that you need to take care of is to re delete all these files. These files are actually the ones that are responsible for cracked games. So if you have these, just select them one by one and completely delete them. Once you do that, you only need to come to Epic Games Launcher, go to your games file, click on verify in, in your GTA 5 game, not on this one. You need to click on verify in GTA 5. Simply click on that and click on verify. Now it's in mine isn't installed, but simply click on verify. It's going to verify them again. And now after verification, it's going to say that some files are missing. That's probably because you deleted those cracked files. Now the only thing that needs to be done is to be downloading those cracked files, which are literally very, very small. The files that we deleted, most of them were actually the fragment files of Steam. So that means you don't need that. Probably if you have downloaded, probably the cracked ones, they probably give you one with the Steam. So in case you're worried about that, don't worry and take it anymore. Even if you have got one from the Rockstar games themselves, this method will actually work. Just delete the cracked ones and simply click on verify. So I hope that helped. Uh, make sure that you like, subscribe and share this video. And thanks for watching.